after the event of the Hungarian uprising and the Suez uh, incidents, the fear of a war in with the center in, in Europe was very real. Uh, and at the same time, also the uh, nuclear bombs and especially the hydrogen bombs has evolved. And they were so devastating that you had to do something else than what you have done before. You have to think in another way. And one of the things that were a key issue was to keep governmental control into your country and to make places that could, as well as possible, protect the government against an atomic blast. The idea was, at least in the beginning of the Cold War and when this was constructed, that a war um, would fall in three phases. And the first phase was considered the most serious, and it was supposed to be about 30 days. And actually, most people thought that the war would be settled within these 30 days. If you could manage to hold the country for this first period, then you probably had a chance to remain in control and to win the war. So this is built to house the government during these crucial 30, 30 days. This area is what you would call the map room, and I would say that it was the heart of the building, so to say. It was um, where the government was supposed to be gathered and to take all the serious decisions. You can see about everything here. And it, it is just as if they sort of left rooms when the Cold War stopped and then abandoned the place and went out. So you can see yeah, paper clips, paper, furniture, um, uh, uh, well, food is not preserved here, <laughs> but, but all the plates and the cups and uh, it, well, everything um, carpets, uh, pillows, you name it. Say that this is uh, the last bastion of the democracy because it would be here you'd uh, evacuate the Danish government and it was from here they should try to um, save the Danish population and the Danish democracy. And if they had to abandon Eigenvist, then actually there was no government on Danish soil and the Danish democracy would have disappeared.
this is a story about everyday life in, in, uh, during the, the Cold War uh, in the exhibit here, and also the story about uh, those arrangements which were made from uh, yeah, uh, politicians and, and uh, government for uh, preserving uh, the life for, for citizens. It's also a story about atomic bombs and, and so forth, but, but it, it, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really about democracy. That's, uh, that's the, the, the main story because weapons, uh, well, the easy, the easy part is to press the bottom. Uh, the, 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 uh, the difficult part is to, to uh, maintain democracy during uh, war and crisis. just facts that you have a war on European soil and also that the, um, the threat of a nuclear war is actually something you speak about. Makes this very relevant, suddenly, um, and, and, and makes a sort of the Cold War feel a little more close by than it was. I mean, we have more or less forgotten about the threats and the nuclear weapons, and, uh, even though we knew they were there, we didn't speak about them for many years. But but now it's 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 coming up again. Mm -hmm.